Hey guys, what's up? Shane here from AwakeFX. Welcome to this trading video. Now in this one, what I wanted to do is show you a live trade, a live trade on one of my funded accounts. This is a funded account with Topstep, which is a futures trading company that offers you funding should you pass one of their challenges. So in this one, it's a euro dollar trade. I've taken it this morning. It is the 23rd of July, 2024 at the time of this recording. So without further ado, let's have a look at the charts and the reasons why I took this trade. So what we're looking at here, guys, is a 15 minute chart of the euro dollar, okay? And today I'm trading the European session. So when is European session? For me, the European session is between 3 a.m. New York time and 5 a.m. New York time. So here in Ireland, that's between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the mornings, perfect time of the day to trade. So we can see here on this 15 minute chart, price had been moving. If you look at the trends, you know, from this low all the way down here to high, been moving kind of in this uptrend. And then what happened was there came a point when the trend broke. Okay. And then at the European session open, we pull back up into an area here and we started moving lower where I sold short. So I'm looking for a continuation lower down towards this area down here below me. And zooming in a little bit closer, what else can we see here? So I'm going to zoom in nice and close here and show you some of the imbalances, the fair value gaps that I teach in this channel, some Fibonacci levels and all of that too. So looking at this here, we can see that in this kind of move down here, there was some fair value gaps on this 15 minute chart. So I'll just draw them in. There was one main one here in the center. It's a little fair value gap short there. Now, when I'm taking trades, I only trade after 3 a.m. New York time, which is after 8 a.m. in the morning. So I'll just draw a vertical line here just to show you where that is. So here is the open. Okay, so this is the open 3 a.m. New York time. Okay, I'll draw also a Fibonacci level here. From the swing high all the way up there. And just prior to the open, we had pulled back to the swing low. Then price opened. We had a move up into this 50% Fibonacci short area. So price had moved up into this 50% retracement, which also had a fair value gap there overlapping. Price started moving lower. I waited for that candle to close because price can still move higher. So I want to see a confirmed turn in this area. I did like the look at this nice, clean 15 minute candle, which is an inverse hammer. One of the types of candles that I teach on my market mastery program to my students. I went a nice little turn there as prices are moving lower. Then I went short, happy to take the trade lower. So we're looking for price to move lower. We zoom out and look at the bigger picture here where are potential target areas for this trade? Well, obvious one would be this previous low down here. And we're not too far away. I'm looking for a little bit more in this trade. So I'm going to zoom to, let's say, an hourly chart. And you can see on the hourly chart, just if we zoom out a little bit further, are there any other support areas where price may want to gravitate towards? So obviously this is the the first area is this previous swing low. But if we look over here to the left, there's kind of a cluster of lows over here. So that's the area that I'm interested to get out of the trade at, okay, which is down here below us. Uh, risk reward on this trade, it's over, over three or, okay. So just to give you an idea of what that looks like here, I entered the trade right here, okay. I have a five pip stop above this high. It's my five pip stop. 10 pip target is here. That's a two hour trade. Three hour trade is if we can get down to this area down here below. That's where a three hour trade would be. I always recommend my students aim for at least two hour as a potential target. Um, in this scenario, I do see the opportunity for three hour on this particular trade. So we'll hold it. We'll see what happens. Let's go back to the 15 minute chart and we'll kind of monitor this trade as price moves lower. Now, just to show you and prove to you, it is a funded account. You can see the top left here, 50K Express. Okay, that's a 
top step funded account 50k express account i'm using top step x platform and you can see on the right hand side here i'm using two contracts because two contracts is the max number of contracts i can use in the funded account here you can see my entry 1.09125 i have a five pip stop and i'm looking to make about 15 pips on this particular trade or so and that's it we let the trade do its thing so let's see can we get our target hit today ladies and gentlemen so price as you can see is coming down into this previous low here so it's the first area we may expect some kind of hesitation in price anyway and this is the 15 minute chart so what i'm going to do i'm going to zoom to a five minute chart just to monitor this a little bit more closely here on this five minute chart now the great thing about top step and having a funded account with top step is you can copy your trades across to as many as five funded accounts so for example this trade here i'm looking to make around 400 dollars on let's say okay 393 about 400 dollars let's round it round it up so you're looking to make about 400 dollars if you've got five funded accounts with top step you could trade on one copy to the other four so instead of making 400 dollars only in your trade you could make 400 times five which is two thousand dollars on the one trade so it's the great thing about top step you can have up to five accounts with them and it's end of day trailing drawdown okay now i know there's another company called apex funding that a lot of people talk about in the in the prop firm industry but the problem with apex is it trails its drawdown with you very aggressively whereas top step it's end of day trailing drawdown which is a little bit different it waits until your end of day balance is complete and then it moves your trailing drawdown below your current highest price so price is coming in here anyway to this previous low completely what we expect we can see in the five minute chart five minute trend we're moving from highs to lows we're making lower highs we're making lower lows okay and my stop loss is above this swing high because price can retrace at any time here price could retrace higher up into this range before continuing lower so i don't want to move my stop loss too aggressively here i want to let the trade run give it a bit of breathing space here it's a very low risk trade it's like i'm risking about 130 dollars to make about 400 dollars you know it's about three hour trade so very, very low risk on a $50,000 account. And this is the type of trading that I teach my students on my mentorship. And I also do live streams for during the Euro US sessions, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So check out my website in the description for more information on that. Now I'm going to put my magnet on the screen. I like to put my magnet where I expect price to move to. So here's my magnet down here. Let's see, can that magnet pull price down into it? as you can see guys price is continuing to move lower so sometimes these retracements back into the range they can be shallow they can be deep you know we always have to remember that we need to put our stop loss in a location where the trade is invalidated so i'm happy to put my stop loss up where this red arrow is here until price continues its trend lower on this five minute chart here on the way down you can also see there are fair value gaps in here too so we can actually mark them in let's mark them in there's a fair value gap up here on the five minute chart one there's another fair value gap here above us on the chart two so price may want to come up and potentially even test them areas may or may not want to test these areas before price moving lower but they are above us as potential retracement areas so we're about eight pips away from target we're about to come back down to the low of the day here so as you can see price is coming down into target go on let's get this push so price is trading as i mentioned below this previous low over here okay so many traders it's a good place to exit a trade there you can exit a trade there fairly comfortably there and get about at least two or on that one so, you know i'm just looking for a little further push lower to this area here and my entry technically my entry was over here so there is my entry stop loss five pip stop letting the trade run letting it do its thing target down here below keeping it simple price is 
coming down into target here. Can we get filled on this trade? Get out for this three or multiple, so 15 pips. Let's take a look here. We've got our magnet. Can magnet drag price down? It's a fairly quick trade, this one. So entering around 8.15 a.m. Time now is just coming up to 9, just after 9 a.m. So about 45 minutes in this trade so far. So we can get this little final push here. That will be nice to close the trade out. Go on. One more pip. One more pip. That's all we need. At this stage, I'm happy to move my stop to break even. I know I'm right beside my target here. So the good thing about top step X, this plat, there we go, price is filled. But the good thing about top step X and this uh, funded account here is that there is a BE button that you can click and just move your stop to break even, do you know? But there we go, three R in that trade, just over 15 pips. Happy with that. A very simple, nice European morning session trade. Five pips risk or 15 pip target on that particular one. Looking at the hourly chart, where are we? We can see that. Nice slice, nice move down to the area that I mentioned, which was over here. Nice area over there, cluster of support. Price broke, previous low into that cluster area. So happy with that trade. So that's it guys for that particular trade today. Hope you enjoyed that. If you do like trading, make sure to subscribe to the channel. You know, I always release new videos about trading, trading psychology, and then live trades just like this. So thanks for watching guys. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye for now.